All right, Jason, let's take a look at your paper, uh, MLA citation first. So this is correct, although you need a space in between your name and the page number. This is correct. You got too many spaces here. You need to move this up one. Your title isn't bad. Uh, I actually think it works well with your topic. All right, so as we get into your instruction, you jump right into uh, the play. A um, couple things of note. Number one, remember... Uh, we went over punctuation of titles earlier this year. There doesn't need to be a comma there. Um, doesn't need to be a comma there. This is obviously information that you just didn't know, so you need to cite where you got this from. Um, I don't know why this is important at all to the, the process of your paper. Um, doesn't have anything to do with that. And then because it's really awkward because you go from this sentence to jumping right into PTSD. Um, now, look at this sentence. Throughout, pause, the play Macbeth shows signs of PTSD. Is that where it, really where the pause should go? Uh, Reread some of these sentences and make sure they sound right. Uh, write out post-traumatic stress disorder before you use the anacronym, and then put the anacronym in um, parentheses. Uh, I don't need... If you had this... Um, you, unless this is a direct quote, like more than just this number, you don't have to put this in quotes. So it affects 5.8 million Americans from the Nebraska Department of Veteran Affairs. Um, this isn't necessary because 5.8 out of 318.9 really isn't that great of a percentage. So um, I don't think it really helps your, your cause. Now you get into PTSD. Uh, and its side effects and all that kind of stuff, which is fine that you get into this, but it's not the right flow to the paper. You need an attention getter. Then you need to expand on it. Then you need to introduce the idea that in Macbeth, Macbeth shows sign of a disorder. This disorder is this. This is what the disorder does. This is how Macbeth shows those symptoms in the play, which is here. Okay, But then you need a thesis statement. This is not... Uh, a thesis statement. This is just a fact um, that you're relaying. So you still don't have a really good thesis statement yet in your introduction. So you got a little bit of work to do to get that where it needs to be. All right, so this pair, I'm just going to skip, Jason, because you're going to cut it out of your rewrite. There's no, absolutely zero need to have it in here. Remember, you can't even use you anyway. So there's three points off your whole score. Um, so we're just going to cut this whole paragraph off. It's unnecessary in your paper. Um, you did it to add length to your paper because you're only at three and a half pages um, and you were desperate because at this point you would have only been at two pages probably um, overall if you didn't add that paragraph. So you're just going to cut that um, as we move forward. So I'm not even going to comment on it. We're just going to move on to self-destructive behavior. All right. Did you get this information from an outside source? If so, make sure you cite it. Um, you still don't really... Um, this would be a okay uh, topic sentence if you actually add in the idea of this self-destructive behavior. Um, he destroys his own mind with guilt and the hunger for power. Um, I don't really see you mentioning guilt at all in this paragraph, so I'm not sure how that would work. Um, he was forcing rash decisions, no comma, to further himself or make him feel safe. I like this idea about the idea of feeling safe. Um, when Macbeth became king, comma, he went, instantly went after the two men that threatened his kingship the most, colon, Banco and Macduff. Um, so as you go into this, um, this is a run-on sentence. Um, you have too many spaces here. You have too many. Um, the uh, period should be at the end. You didn't have a. You didn't finish the citation here. You don't have to say in different words. Just explain what comes after it. Uh, but you're not doing a good job of talking about how the self-destructive behavior relates to this because this is the rest is just plot elements. Um, this is um, downright um, false because this happens in the movie but not in the book, in the play. So this is downright false. So you're going to cut that out um, in, the, in the end. Um, although his rash decisions on his Thane Macduff because he thought Macduff, this is an incomplete sentence. It doesn't even make sense. It's actually a dangling modifier. It's not actually modifying anything. Um, you, this is a, an apostrophe S in Macduff's castle. Um, 
and then because your thesis statement is weak because you're just saying it ended a halt to his reign that's all you can say in your body paragraphs oh it led to the end of his reign so you're not really analyzing anything you're not really tying anything together it's just kind of there so you're gonna want to do that plus have a um, strong transitional statement from here into the next body paragraph alright so um, he developed a symptom of insomnia this is a, a weak topic sentence but at least it's better um, insomnia is the inability to sleep did you look this up or what um, and why aren't you using outside sources at this particular point you don't use any quotes in this paragraph um, nor do you use any quotes in the next paragraph so where are your outside sources during this thing Jason um, so anyways uh, Lady Macbeth says Macbeth hasn't been sleeping soundly. Um, no comma here. I, I mean, and this is a good point, and that's what happens in the story. But um, then you instantly jump into hallucinations, which really should be a different paragraph because it's. Um, I know they kind of lead into each other, but talk about insomnia and then lead that into hallucinations. Um, this is a run on sentence here. Um, this is a capitalization error here. This is a punctuation error here. Um, this is a almost a run-on sentence at this point. Uh, and again, all you can say is that it led to his end, which is not anything special or anything um, worth analyzing. So you actually have to elongate this, separate this, make this all about insomnia, talk about um, his whole he's murdered sleep, talk about him after seeing Banquo's ghost that he can't sleep anymore, um, something. Uh, to give you uh, more to talk about. Then you get to the next one, which is the emotional detachment. So he shows emotional detachment from his wife and his people. Um, I'm assuming thanes or, I don't know, um, servants, I don't know. Um, you can't use you. Uh, and again, if you had an outside source here that you could actually utilize and, and talk about this idea of emotional detachment, it would make a lot more sense. Um, no comma here. Uh, this is a run-on sentence. Um, this is a capitalization error. Uh, I would use a direct quote. What did he actually say and what does it actually mean and how does it show de emotional detachment and what does it mean in the grand scheme of things with Macbeth because that's what you're really trying to get to in this particular instance. Um, it's the reason that at the end of the play all the people flee. This is a wrong use of a semicolon. This isn't a complete se sentence. Um, and again, all you can say is that it leads to his tragic halt. Conclusion. Obviously way too short. Okay, You need to restate your thesis statement, um, which is this, basically. Um, you need to go through your main points, which um, you do, but very short sentences. So you're missing a clincher still at the end that would wrap everything up. So um, you're still missing all that. Works cited has to start up here. And this is obviously all wrong. You even spelled census wrong down here. Um, so this is this is obviously not even close to being right. Um, you got a lot of work to do with that. So Jason, we got a long way to go, friend, um, in order for this to be even remotely complete. So hopefully you can take what I've told you and, and have a decent rewrite here um, soon. So let me know if you need any help.